to a bonus episode of Tunic. And today, 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 we are simply looking at the language again and trying to understand a little bit more of it. Now, I did spend a bit of time this morning looking at some of the stuff. And um, if I pull up this picture here, and in particular, zoom in here. So I was going through some stuff. This is my notepad. And I have been able to kind of put some stuff together. And I think I've identified some new, um, some new letters from last night. And this is basically my workings out, as you can see. So I took those three lines from page one that we're currently working on. And... I kind of tried to translate it. Now, the first line, this is the first line here, as you can see. Um, this isn't really, I, I'm a bit stuck at this. I know it starts with the, but that's all I know at the minute. Line two gave me K, K, or E, K, T, E, D as the first word. Now, I've actually think that means corrected, core, ek, tid corrected and then we had this e l e something e n looking at what letters were back on the sheet that lb gave me and provided to me yesterday i think that's a v so i think that's corrected 11 and then here i've actually put in three letters which i believe is times hey mika what's going on welcome welcome um, just a bit of an overview at the moment as to where, where we are and what we're doing. So I believe I've translated, successfully translated this second line to say corrected 11 times. Now, looking at the third line, again, I've taken an educated guess here as well. And this is basically where we've got the M from, um, this one here. But we'll look here. We got, we got D, P, P something, Ted. Now, again, I looked at what vowels were available, and the only thing that made sense was departed. So that was an AR, the R sound. So we've got departed, got when, whens, which I think is once. Departed, once, more. So we've got corrected 11 times, departed once more. Is lines two and three, as I have written them here. So, um... If I go back quickly to my, um, this is my sheet I was working on uh, where I've got all my letters at the minute. So the ones in orange here are ones that I believe I've worked out today, this morning. So that's the R sound. This is an I, as in guy. We've got the Z here, the V here, and the M here. So... That's basically where we are in comparison to where we were last night. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited um, that we may be kind of really making progress with this. The only thing I am still worried about is the fact that um, I'm still not 100% certain where we go from here. So this is my tunic folder. Um, this is my current sheet that I am working on. Which I probably want to open in paint, actually, because we're going to be doing, hopefully, finding some more of these things and doing some edits. And let's start off with page one, because this is what we've been translating so far. So let me do this one. How's your Sunday been, Mika? Hope, uh, hope you're up to some... Good, nice, relaxing stuff. Okay, so it's line, line one is, is like the one that we are, we are concentrating on here. So we've got, basically got three words. We've got, the first word is the. We know that because we know that we've already identified that that first word is the. Let me snip this. Mm. And we'll zoom in a little bit, and then we can separate these off. 
So that's the have a bit of a in a line, please, snipping tool. So that's the first line, first syllable, second syllable, third syllable, fourth, and then fifth. And then here we've just got literally just got two. Which is that's a bit of a poor line because I can't actually see there the um better because now I can see that bit there. Okay, so we know I know this is the okay, so let's look at this first one. What can we decipher from this? Now this is the A sounds in R. <laughs> That's good. It's good to have a, it's good to have a bit of downtime, Mika. That's A as in R. Oh no, hold on. That is R. Okay. And then that is S. We've got S R or S A. We don't have a vowel in the next next letter. And don't even know that we actually we don't think we have that letter, do we? Um yeah, no, it's an S. Okay, yeah, that's no, an S. So Oh, that's not an S though, is it? No, this isn't an S. Yeah, I, I, I was doing some this morning and then I kind of like, well, I don't really know. I, I've, I've, I think I've got these first two lines. I found a few extra um, letters. These are the ones in orange on this sheet here, Mika. Um, but it's this first line that I'm struggling with. I don't know that I've got enough information at the minute. Oh, Rector Rocks is here. What's going on, Rector? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to translating with Knock. Understanding languages. All right, so they've got an E here. How you doing, dude? How's your Sunday been? Is it still Sunday or are you almost, actually, you're almost into Monday though, aren't you? So here we got T and E, T and E, S, T. Uh, so that sounds like an O. Oh. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Rector. I'm trying to get my head around this. <laughs> so this, this symbol here, this R sound here, we think about it in the context of swan, O. Oh. So S, O, oh. something, test. S, O, oh. test. What could that be? Sobtest, sochest, softest, softest possibly. Okay. I think that's the only one that makes sense that we don't have. Okay, let's let's say for now, and we're doing all these in orange because these are like the new ones I've worked, I think I've worked out today, but I'm still not 100% sure on. Um, so we're going to say that this symbol here is an F. So then that makes this the softest because that becomes an O because it's phonetic as in swan, oh, oh, so, oh, oh. Yeah, okay, okay. So that potentially becomes the softest. So the softest something corrected 11 times, departed once more. Okay, so what is this last word here? Let's have a look. Um, 
So we've got an E. And that's an F. So Fe. E. Got another E there. Then what is that symbol? Softest something. So the symbol we're looking for is this one. We need to translate this one. Now it almost looks like It almost looks like our TH. But it's got an extra, it's got that extra bit on the top. Hmm. Softest uh, could that be? Oh, hold on, no, no. That is a TH. I've misread that. That's not an E. Softest fev. Softest fev. Uh, softest ever. So it's not that's that we're not looking for that symbol there. We're actually looking for the vowel that is this symbol, which we don't have at the minute. It's almost like this E, but it's got the extra bit there. Okay, let's make a note of what we think this might be. The softest, and we've got F-E-T-H. We just don't know what the last part of that last word is. Okay, so we are looking for this symbol. Can we find anywhere else that symbol in play? I'm just trying to like think, can I see that anywhere else that's being used? So that I could then try and maybe like work out the rest of that line and make a logical guess or, or a logical reasoning as to what that might be. Seems a pretty, it's not a common symbol. And the lure thing at the end of the sentence. This one, Mika. No, that is slightly different. Um, we're looking for this. What that symbol is, is actually, it doesn't have a break in it. So that's kind of like an all the way around, which is the O sound here, I believe. Let me just check that. Yeah. It's a good, good spot, though, Mika. You can get still on screen, man. 
No, it's fine. It's fine. I appreciate you calling it out, to be fair, because I might have missed it. Not looking, though, like it's a commonly used symbol. So if it's not a commonly used symbol, I wonder, like looking here at what we've got left in the vowels. What would be... What would be like the least common? I really want to translate this. I was looking at this one earlier on. Oh, it's there. It's actually there. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. It's actually there. But I was looking at like this sentence with the bomb, this last bomb here earlier on. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? And it says that this last bit is basically says end, ow, 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 ow. So I'm wondering if it's like someone's like, be careful with the bomb um, or else you'll hurt yourself in the end. Ow, 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 ow. I just found like that line right there, like really quite amusing that there was like written in the manual like that. But anyway, we have it here. This is our symbol here that we're looking for. Can we translate this first bit? So... Bring this over here. The symbol we are looking for first is that which we don't have, and this, 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 and this. Now, I'm pretty sure we have that. Sure, I've seen that somewhere. Maybe not. That's H. Oh, actually, I've got this wrong. I've looked at this wrong. No, I'm not looking for that vowel sound. I'm looking for this vowel sound. I might have that one. That's I as in guy. Like uh, an I-E. So what does that first bit translate to? It's almost like the fire from the fox. Um, there it is. I've, oh, I've got it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Back up, back up a minute. This is my fault because I didn't correctly write this one down. That needs to be like that. Okay, so that's an F. So this is, I guess this is F I R. So this isn't some sort of er sound, which is this one here, which means that last word's going to be feather. Feather. Beer. So it's not ear. Feather. Er uh, in feather sound like air. Eh? All right, but I think we got it. We, I think this translates then. This first line translates to the softest feather corrected 11 times, departed once more. Which is great. But what does it mean? So I've got a couple here that I'm just going to mark on here because I don't actually have these um, listed anywhere. That's an E, some description. Um, it's 
So that's an E. So then we've got this there, 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 there. That's going to be ER. So they're two that I've got on my sheet, but I haven't really decided where they sit on here. I mean, am I being stupid? Where would bird, uh, would feather, the er in feather be the same as the er in bird? Uh, feather. By uh, possibly. Okay, let me. Let's let's go with that then, just for now. I I don't know if this is right or not. It's taking a punt. What it could be. Uh, in bird. Okay. All right. So we've all right. Let let's let's now. Let's put the brakes on this for a minute. Let me just put a cross through that because I think I've dealt with that. Let's put the brakes on this a minute. Let's actually go back to the game. Um, okay. So, um, pause that. Yes. Game. No. Oh, I'm sure I didn't have so many sound cards. Okay, so we have that. Let's now head back. Over here, can we? I think so. Okay, let's stand here for. We'll just stand here for a minute just to get that page. I don't know if we need the page open or not. But um, obviously, this is the only way we can see what's written on the page. Just stand in the water for, 30, uh, for a minute. Yeah, this is insane. Um, just while we're sort of waiting for, just to give you an example, this is this is what I was working on earlier on. If anybody wasn't here, so the bit, the pieces at the bottom, pieces at the bottom of the screen right there, you can kind of see like where the one and the two is. Um, it's kind of like what I translated. So you can see like where I got corrected. I actually uh, trans it translates as K. O R E E K T E D. I was like, well, what what could that be? And then when I thought about it, it's like actually core ek ted. And we had eleven. And I was like, okay, well, we were missing one letter, and of the only available letters, the V seems like a logical guess to put in there, or the logical thing to put in there. Um and then like up top, I was kind of like looking at that last one. We've got like or what can go in front of or well I said possibly an M. So that's how I got the M for more. Um, Wentz, I kind of thought about that. I think, well, Wentz, that kind of sounds a bit like once. So, yeah, it's just it's crazy how, like, I kind of got stuff going um, today. And that's kind of like what I wanted to try and get this bonus stream in because I'd made, like, some progress 
off camera this morning. I kind of wanted to carry on, but I didn't want to do too much off camera. So, okay, so here is, here is our thing. The softest feather corrected 11 times, departed once more. What does that mean? Softest feather corrected 11 times, parted once more. Softest feather. Not seen any feathers. Why does it point like here as well, specifically? Like this part on the drawing. Not dispose or eat this document. Yeah. Tell me about it. I've been dealing with freaking feathers earlier on this morning. I was doing some practicing of um, the next Goldberry. Hmm. What does it mean by soft? Let's try and like break this down like the softest. What could it mean by softest? Softest what? I'm looking at like the lightning and trying to listen to the thunder. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. No, I haven't seen any feathers, Mika. None at all. See, I don't think it's anything to do with the lightning. I mean, I know we're talking feathers, but I'm just trying to sort of... Chicken. Now, whilst I would normally sort of agree or, or say a good shout, Mika, I, th I think it has specifically to do with this point, though. Hence why... It's like there's that drawing of this point on this page. Or else, yeah, I would say possibly something to do with the chicken, like birds at the ruined atoll.
wonder if it's worth like trying to translate any of this. Additional support and secrets. I mean, can't hurt, right? Let's see if we can, see if we can't get something out of this, maybe. Else, there it is. And okay, so this says this one is fi and D, so find. Don't know what the vowel is here. It's an S something. I think that might be a U. Find some. Again, just making educated guesses or trying to make educated guesses. Find some something. We don't know what this word is here. Here we have and we don't have what that is. And that's a G. G something L. D E It must be O. Oh, I have got that one. Mm. Find some something golden. S. Don't have the vowel there. That's a uh, E. The T? Yeah, T. Don't have that. And it, it's it seems like you're on a winner and then you come across a load of letters that you yet to translate or let yet to work out what they are. So I think that is U uh, as in bug. Uh, ug. So O. O M. O M. Okay. Let's put this in as that. For now, as something else. Find some. And then we don't know what that one is. Line down the side and then that one. <laughs> it's alright, we've only been going for about half an hour. Um, however, glad you're here. I think I may have translated line one. I think I have translated line one. So I think we have got um, the whole three lines on page one read... The softest feather corrected 11 times departed once more, I believe. 
And now all of these letters in orange here are all my thoughts. So I don't... Th this is what I think. I know all the black ones are correct because we confirmed them last night. It's a successful translation. Excellent. Fantastic. What do we do with it? <laughs> we just sort of stood there and thinking, okay, so the softest feather. What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea what that means at all. Um, especially like when you, I'm kind of like standing where the picture is in, in the diagram. Um, so yeah, I kind of came back to this for a little bit just to try and work out some more letters. So that's B H B R U Tr This is quite difficult to do down and out. Is the vowel? Oh. No, it's not. It's that er uh, sound. The I R, but when in the constant, which would be, have we got that? No, we haven't got that. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I'm I just trying to think of any feathers. Sorry. Actually, this, the O sound. It's not that one either, is it? It's O H. Something glow, something the glow. sense T R U Tr Tr then we've got that letter that we don't know but then the next one is uh is it? Yeah, next one is er. Uh, there, 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 there. Oh, the consonant is before that, though. It's like this, this, and like this. 
Is that not V? Traverse. Traverse the goal. Traverse the glow. Tra-the-erse. Traverse. Right? Sounds right. Traverse the glow. Yeah. Reverse the glow something. The A. almost like the V but it's got like an extra bit at the bottom that's a Z that's right reverse the low something reverse the glow to well, it could be two as in that could be o o reverse the glow to Visit, visit, visit. Okay, if that's visit, visit. So that E actually would be this one here then. Okay, traverse, traverse the glow. Then. Traverse the glow something. Traverse the glow, then, then. Then visit 12. So that would be S T. that vowel be there hold on that'd be going up to the top and then coming off the top so I don't think I have that letter there Oh man, this one's this one's pretty tricky to break up actually. We've got like that's one. I think this breaks here. Two. And that will break there for three. Four. Five. Okay, I think that's how that one breaks up. Don't know about that. That is N. That's A. And stray, straying. Stray, 
Hmm. Strange. Traverse the glow, then visit 12 straying. He question mark. This is reversed. And that's a Z. Eaths. Eaths. But what's the consonant there? Trust the trust the glow, then visit twelve, straying. No strange. The question about LB sentence I slept in late this morning. Is that also saying if one's sleeping over? some meeting or lecture yeah same sort of saying it's the same thing so uh he's basically i think i'll be basically saying that he slept for longer than he anticipated or, or wanted to sleep so he slept in longer or longer than he normally would what is that first letter which is Effectively that. Oh no. I've just got no, it's not. It's an I. Uh, that's a B. It's completely looked at that wrong. I've put the wrong thing down, but no, it's um, that gives us a B because it basically says traverse the glow, then visit 12. So basically what it's saying is go to nighttime, traverse the glowing bridges that only appear at nighttime, then visit 12. Strange beings. That's not a TH, that's an NG. Well, that gives us a B there. All right, I need to, I need to write some of this down. I am 99% confident that's what it said. All right, so, uh, what hint page? One is find some golden something something. I, I kind of feel like that's could be golden stuff. S, we got the S and the T, and we're missing the vowel there. That's a Z. Oh, I didn't put that in before. We don't have this vowel here, nor do we have that consonant there.
Okay, so number two, I've got traverse the glow. Then visit twelve. It's interesting though we know that like the, the, there's no I know obviously we've only got vowels. Um vowels and consonants only, but it's nice to know that there's no like numbers included any of the bits and pieces. Then visit twelve strange beings. Alright, number three. Can we try oh, number three is quite a beast. We know that this is the golden path. Right? It is the legendary LB, the man, the myth, the legend. That would be... N, in, in. Don't know what that one is though. Do we? Inset. Inset. That's like inset. Inset, maybe? Inset T. Again, don't know what that letter is. E. on and an M. The Gray. The great. Greatest. Something, 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 them. The greatest. I've seen this symbol before somewhere. I think we've had this on our. We have this on our main thing that we were decoding. Yeah, um, it's part of the first line here, isn't it? The S and the O, so that's... Greatest Am I blind? Am I not seeing it? I've got it written down. Oh, it's here. Ah. 
greatest soth. No, the greatest song. So, something, 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 then the greatest song. The. Song. Reversed here. song is the greatest path no it's not the greatest path I'm just jumping to conclusions the song is what what is the song It's gold, golden, is it path? No, it is path, golden path. Sorry, I don't know why, I just looked at that and that didn't look right. Something about that didn't look right when I first glanced at it, I apologize. Um, yeah, the song is The Golden Path. We're not sure what that one is, but it's reverse, so it's vowel first. Um, maybe it's. No, it's not. That's not an S on the end of there because that's not right. I just keep like looking at these symbols, and I'm like, they all look so similar when you're staring at them for such a long time. I don't know what that one is then at the minute. Uh, oh, it's Z. It's maybe it is it's. Or as, maybe? As? That could be an A. Where else does that appear? Can't see at the minute. See, seen, as seen, maybe, as seen. <laughs> that would be hilarious.
A seen weapon? Within. As seen within. R. E. S. P. E. C. T. That's an F. I just noticed that's an F. So, as seen from within. All right, I'm, I'm going to say this is ah, the ah sound, as in glass. So the, the latter part of this is the song is the golden path as seen from within. What is this vowel here, though, like on this one? Also, like the, the pronunciations of this. Like this E is actually an I. Something Sith. Something Sith. No, sing. Idiot. I've done it again. I've, I've written that as TH. It's sing. Something sing. Something sing. Eh. And sing. And sing. Is it, and sing to them the greatest song? The song is the golden path as from within. The and. Is this ooh? That could be ooh. Something sing to no, well, it wouldn't be that. Yeah, it would be that one. I know it doesn't make sense from an English standpoint to use the two O's in that, but it does make sense, like phonetically. And sing to them the greatest song. Jeez. Let's save that to my tunic folder. Okay. So I think I've actually decoded that now. All right, so... All right, I think... 
think the play now, we've got to look through here. Is there any mention in this manual of feathers? Fe feathers. It's like the thing on my head technically considered a feather. Or bird feathers. It's about the only feathers I know, unless you're talking about ones that are put in pillows or cushions. See, Mika made, Mika made the point earlier on about, like, could it is it to do with birds? And I was thinking, like, the birds at the ruined toll. But what puts me off is the fact that on page one, it's specifically, like, pointing to this location here. Which kind of, like, deters me from thinking it's anything to do with the birds in the ruined toll. Softest feather corrected 11 times, departed once more. Was it? Okay, let's... Let's go. Change to daytime. Let's visit the ruined toll. I don't know, maybe, maybe, the, maybe the location is just throwing me off. When I solve the riddle, what do I think I'll end up with? I think I'll end up with the final treasure that I'm missing. Put a, do a d-pad input right I think I don't normally put a d-pad input in okay so am I barking up the wrong tree then with the whole ruined toll thing I don't want to like waste time. Location shown here is correct. Alright, 
I'm back. Uh, right, so location of page one is correct. Okay, so you say what about like you say that um, what can I associate birds with uh, feathers with? Well, it's birds. And this location is correct. Okay, so this location is correct. This is like completely wild then. If I'm thinking birds and this location, can we hear birds in the distance, I wonder? without headphones let's let's like listen carefully let's turn off the music in game wow this audio is terrible ah <sighs> uh, i think I tell you what, it's really annoying because for some reason I like unplug my main a speaker thing from my main sound card input on my computer. It um, breaks the audio for some reason, and I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so let's just try this first. I'm not hearing anything. So, okay, I thinking about the other lines. Um, corrected 11 times, departed once more. Is that saying I've got to like press one button 11 times and another button once?
Okay. So then is it just trial and error? What's going on, Crazy? How you doing? No trial and error, it's just a riddle. Corrected eleven times. Baby birds. Thinking about like baby birds, are we like talking about like birds flying? So like they, I don't know, they try to fly 11 times and then on the 12th time they actually get to go. sort of thinking like what does it mean by corrected 11 I'm just thinking like corrected because it's trying to maybe learn to do something but then once it departs the final time. It's the softest feather. I mean, like, so like baby feathers, right? So, or the softest feather, it means a baby bird. Is that what we're saying? Softest feather is baby bird, which would make sense because it's like a brand new, newborn before it gets its like proper fe feathers. I have no idea what they're called. Not a clue, LB. <laughs> I'll be honest. I mean, I don't know. Is it, is it safe for me to Google? I don't. I don't want to Google like the softest feather. Um. Um. Maybe bird of the cold. Fledgling. Well, that's just a bird that's lost its coat of feathers. feathers
No, okay. Well, I guess that's not what it's called. To soft down, 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 possibly. Okay, so down eleven times. But what does the corrected mean? Or is it down? Is it down one? The soft down could be down one. Corrected. Another word. Yeah, okay, I got it. 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 Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, it didn't work. What? So I think it should be down, down one. Corrected is right. So then right eleven, departed once more, left one. So it should be down one, right eleven, left one. Doesn't work. Do I need to stand here? Down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Doesn't work. What? What? Did it, I messed up. I got excited. More. Oh, is it saying once more than right? Nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. Oh, my goodness. We unlocked the television. Oh my goodness me. That is insane. That is absolutely in freaking insane. That one puzzle has taken us five hours. Five hours to get that one chest and a whole lot of language deciphering. Holy smokes. But yeah, we got all 12. We now have all 12 of the bonus hidden chests. Oh my goodness me. That's insane. Seriously, the puzzles, the riddles, everything about this freaking game has absolutely blown my mind. Seriously, it has. All right, well, that's probably a good place to leave it because um, I'm glad I've got it because it's almost uh, dinner time here. So um, I've got a couple of hungry kids roaming around the house and I should probably go and feed them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm glad that you was kind of here, LB, because honestly, I don't know that... I don't know that I would have got necessarily the reference to the birds, like the, the, the baby bird feathers. Um... But yeah, 
man what what a riddle what another fantastic like this this one particular and the golden path have just completely blown my mind they really have and i know i've said that like multiple occasions but yeah seriously just it, it's way out there completely out there and the, these guys these developers this, this this game company whoever they are these these group of people have created something very very special indeed um so we're back on wednesday we were back on wednesday and um yeah it's just i guess it's just final boss and um we've got to go visit this this place where all the treasures are because see if anything else has changed there um so yeah that's what's going to happen wednesday so wednesday will be i promise this time wednesday will be the final tunic stream um but yeah thanks everybody for tuning in for this bonus stream um gratefully appreciated everybody hanging out and um all the support over the last couple of streams i know they've been a bit grindy but i, I think a, lot, a few of you have definitely found it quite interesting as much interesting as i have trying to decipher the language and understand everything that's going on so thank you very much everybody for tuning in and until next time i've been not keeping awesome take care stay safe and happy gaming bye guys